Good morning guys, welcome back to The Daily Departure. I'm just getting ready really quick to head out for a two day trip. I'm actually running late right now, so this intro is gonna be really quick. We are flying three legs today. We are going one leg to Miami from Chicago, and then we are doing a Tampa turn. So we just go Miami, Tampa, Tampa, back to Miami. And then we are in for our layover. I have about a 19 hour layover there today. I'm very excited for this layover and hopefully my boyfriend will be able to join me. I'm going to head to the airport and get this day started. Also, I just packed my lunch and I have it in my modern picnic lunchbox, which is a lunchbox that looks just like a purse. I have more information in the description below about this and a link to it if you are interested in buying one. It is super cute, it looks just like a purse, but I packed my lunch in it, so I think that's the best part about it. Now I'm off to the airport. Miami. Okay, this is actually a round two because the first room that I got in smelled like cigarettes, so I just went down to the lobby and swapped around. But this room is pretty huge. Like this entryway is a room itself. So we have the entryway, and then this is the lobby, and then this is the pantry. Like, look at how big this closet is. That's so funny. And we have a refrigerator, and then the bathroom is honestly smaller than the pantry. And then we have a mirror here with a nice big vanity. And then got a couch, this bed, and then this fake balcony out here. Actually, the other room had one of these too and we were like, can this open? But it doesn't. And uh, this building right over here is pretty cool. It changes colors. And uh, this building over here actually, ah, where am I pointing? looks just like my apartment um, back home in Chicago, so I think that's kind of funny. Today, why are you judging me? This is the vlog, this is what we do. Okay, so today we had a decently long day, honestly almost like maybe nine or 10 hours of duty time, but we started out in Chicago, we did Chicago to Miami, then had a two hour sit and we did a Tampa turn, so just a little hop around to Tampa. On our way to Miami, we actually ended up having a kind of sort of medical on our flight. I guess it really like could have been worse, but basically when we were in the middle of service towards the end, actually we had like two rows left. A passenger came back and was like, hey, I don't feel well. And we were like, yeah, you look rough. So we started scooting back the carts so we could let her go to the bathroom or whatever she needed to do. And she kind of started to like collapse in the aisle. She didn't pass out or anything, but she was, had said she was lightheaded. So we ended up paging for a medical doctor and we took her to the back galley and we took care of her back there and then she chilled back there for a little bit. And uh, you know, that happens. People just get a little bit lightheaded when they're traveling, if you didn't eat or the stress of the morning. The plane was also more on the warm side and she had like a thick jacket on and then like a parka winter coat on the whole time. So we're like, okay, mistake number one, you were wearing like 500 pounds of fluff in a hot plane so that's probably why you were a little bit warm but she eventually was better and then the Tampa turn was super easy so now we are here on my flight from Miami to Tampa we had a passenger who was a Zed fare so if you're familiar with any of the non-rev travels that I have done setting is basically when you fly standby on another airline another carrier whether it's somewhere else in the US or another like international carrier and you get to fly standby those agreements that we have with the companies so there was a passenger on board and when he came back to use the restroom I was like oh who do you fly for and he flies for Lufthansa he's a flight attendant for them which is one of my favorite international carriers and um, I've gone on them a bunch of times and my boyfriend and I absolutely love them because they've always been so incredibly kind to us whenever we have non-revved on them and so I was like I love your company you guys are the best and you guys always treat us so great and uh, in return he waited during uh, deplaning for all the passengers and was like hey thanks by the way he then passed me a little um, goodie bag that he made me which was so sweet of him so I was like oh my gosh this is so exciting so I'm gonna show you exactly what he gave me one of the amenity kits which this is something that a lot of airlines do when you travel in business or first and sometimes like premium economy seats it's basically a little amenity kit with some items in there for you to use during the flight I'll open it up in a second but he also got me three of these little boxes of chocolate then he also gave me this other chocolate bar and I already ate one of the chocolate 
chocolates from this packet. They were so good. So I'm super excited about these little gifts that he gave me. He also gave me a crew tag and it says Lufthansa and then it says signature service crew on the back. So I'm so excited about this because now I have another little tag to add to my bag and it's kind of special because it was given to me by another flight attendant from an airline that I absolutely love. And then also when we were coming back from I'm trying to think which leg was that oh yeah tampa to miami the last one we did there was um another airline pilot who was on board and i noticed his crew badge was for the same airline that my boyfriend works for so i was like do you know my boyfriend and he does and uh small world that this airline industry is so i thought that was kind of fun i'm like haha you know my boyfriend and the amenity kit there is a toothbrush and some toothpaste which these toothpastes are the cutest they're literally the smallest toothpaste ever i had another one of these from another time we flew on them and like just like so cute it's like the size of my finger honestly and then a pair of socks that was tied around in this ribbon some um earplugs and then some headphone covers that they probably give out to their passengers to listen to movies an eye mask and then we're getting bougie here. We got some L'Occitane and Provence lotion and lip gloss that they also give out in their amenity kits. So my sister loves this brand. So I last time I got one of these, I shared it with her, but I think I'm gonna maybe keep these for myself this time because I gave her like two of them last time. But anyways, we are in the hotel now and uh, probably gonna go to bed soon because I don't know, are we going out? <laughs> we wanna go to bed? What's that? Let's go out. Go out? Okay, we're maybe gonna go out and walk around this area because um, it's been forever since I've been in this area of Miami, probably like almost like eight or so years. So let's do this. good morning you guys it's day two of this two-day Miami trip I just finished getting ready and my boyfriend still needs to get ready but we are gonna meet his mom soon for lunch and then we are also grabbing lunch with um, one of our friends parents who are in town right now we're gonna go out with the three of them and then my boyfriend's gonna leave because he's got to commute back to Chicago for work we have two legs later today so after we get lunch I might chill back at the hotel maybe go see if this hotel has a pool and then we have pickup at 4.08 in the afternoon today. And then we get back into Chicago super, super late tonight. So just two flights and then back by midnight. back early because he's got to commute home for work bye this is literally always the worst part when you have to leave to go back for work bye <laughs> all right so we had dinner at this really cute little poke place and i got a passion fruit lychee jelly tea and then I had these like Japanese glass noodles, which were super good. Really like the food there. So if you have a layover here or if you're ever in the downtown Miami area, I will write the name of that restaurant down below because I really liked them and they were really, really kind, nice customer service. The lady checking us out and like ringing us up was super nice. And uh, yeah, really nice experience for lunch. And we all really liked our food. We all just literally ate like every ounce of our food and pretty good prices for the amount of food you get as well. But anyways, my boyfriend is going to the airport right now and he is trying to catch up back to Chicago because he is on call tomorrow he's on reserve so he's trying to make it back for that and of course the flight loads out of Miami and West Palm and Fort Lauderdale are all super full so he's gonna try to go early so that he can try to get on as many flights as he needs to to get back to Chicago I forgot to show you yesterday I got a really cute new phone case I bought it around Christmas and the deal with the website was it was only the shipping that you had to pay, which I think was around $10 and the case was free. The company itself, I kind of noticed, has deals a lot of the time, like 50% off different items and stuff. If you are a frequent traveler or an airline employee, this is a website you want to check out if you have any sort of phone case needs because they print boarding pass phone cases. Not only do they have boarding passes, but they also have a bunch of different options like maps and a couple different travel themed things. I got this Chicago boarding pass phone case. It just has 
the barcodes as first class, has a QR code, a little airplane. And also right now they have a customizable one that's 50% off. So you can literally put on here your name and you design every detail of it, like the flight number and everything. I will put down below the website for this because I posted it on Instagram and a bunch of people are already asking me questions. Where can I get it? It is from Kiwi Cases dot com they have really cute airline cases so go ahead and check them out so i'm just going to get changed really quick and go see if i can go hang out at the pool for an hour or so before i have to come back and get ready for our pickup at 4 8 p.m in Chicago I literally didn't film anything I feel like after I left the hotel last night and we got in so late probably got home around 1 a.m. and I was so exhausted but I ended up picking up a turn for today I am heading to the airport in about an hour and a half or so to do my turn and then we finished that really late tonight too I am off tomorrow though so I'm doing a little day trip tomorrow literally flying in and out of this city in the same day because I'm going to visit one of my friends this trip that I'm going to be taking you on is a non-rev trip so I will be flying standby to this destination and back in this destination and then I have a three-day trip after that and then I have another non-rev trip after that so I just have the busiest week coming up and I'm excited about it I'm gonna be filming all of these trips so if you don't want to miss out on those upcoming vlogs I will be posting make sure to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell so you get notifications when I am posting new videos because I'm always traveling and I have so much more content I'm creating for you guys later on this month and I want you guys to come along with me on these trips to see just what it's like being a flight attendant and getting paid to travel and also traveling in your free time. Also before you go, make sure to scroll down to that description box below and check out some more information on ID90. Also click that link down there to visit their Instagram and also make an account on ID90. If you are a frequent traveler, airline personnel, and you want some discounts and deals on hotels, cruises, all-inclusives, all those fun things, definitely go make an account and check out all the possibilities you can explore with ID90. But until then, happy traveling and I will see you next time on the Daily Departure.